Okay, so um, you've come to us with this. Wow. Tell us what's going on here. What happened? I started um, a week and a day ago with a little, what looked like a mosquito bite. Mm -hmm. And then the next morning it had grown to include like the top knuckles and it was um, red and angry and... And fortunately for us, Farah had taken a picture of what her right hand looked like when she came in for her first treatment. I did Epsom salt soaks Good. and uh, hot compresses mm -hmm. and um, now we're doing this. Gonzo put uh, pre-anesthetized you with a, a little viscous lidocaine. Very cool. All right. Mm -hmm. Now this isn't going to be as bad as it looks. Okay. We're going to feel a little cold spray and then hopefully we've numbed this up enough where this, you'll barely feel anything here. Okay. Looks like it's healed very, very well. There's one little area still in the center there that maybe needs a few more days of coverage, but I think you've healed up very well. Now, you've not had any other fevers or chills or any other signs where this might have spread or anything like that? Um, you know, when I, after you lanced and everything, I did have, um, I was very hot mm -hmm. <laughs> for mm -hmm. uh, a little bit of time there. Mm -hmm. um, but to lately, be expected, right? Because right. We were, because that, you are had you have redness that came all the way out. Remember yes, that? Yeah. I did. Um, okay, so that's healed very well, and we don't have any reason to believe at this point that you're going to continue to have problems with staph or MRSA. The antibiotic that we had given you uh, on the second visit, where we went ahead and treated it, uh, was um, uh, the uh, the MRSA was very sensitive to that antibiotic. So. You should do just fine. If you were to have another episode, though, we would begin to be concerned that you might be a staff carrier, and we'd have to start, you know, doing some things about that. But I think you've done very well. I'm going to give you a prescription for a scar cream, a prevention cream, so that we don't see a big scar. Anytime you have a wound like that that heals, we want to go ahead and be sure that we protect it from the sun. Um, one of the components of the scar cream is a sunblock. And if we protect it from the sun, it's less likely to darken and therefore become more visible and more evident. So that's one oh. of the things to keep in mind. Okay. Anyway, you've done great. Thanks for letting us follow up. We had some people that want to know how fair I did. Okay. All right. And you have a great weekend. New Year, you've been on Meta 7 now how long? Uh, two months. Two months. Okay. Well, no, no script. Just tell us what you think about it, how you're feeling. I yeah. like it because it's like I take it in the morning and like during the day, like when you kind of get that feeling you just don't feel like doing anything so like it still gives me energy so it gives me energy to keep going and everything else yeah so i really like it a lot good it's helped a lot awesome and do you feel like jittery and shaky energy? no no i don't it's like just like a burst of energy energy you just you just don't feel sleepy or anything you still want to keep going and do what you're doing awesome and plus it's helped with my hair growth too awesome great <laughs> so and then my complexion has gotten a lot better too Terrific. the vitamins and everything and everything here Wonderful. So I like it. Wonderful. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you.